Uh, right. David from the future tells me that you guys are dealing with a plague, and I, he didn't use the word plague, he used pandemic. I don't know what that is, but it sounds f From what I understand of it, it's a disease that spreads around the world really quickly and can infect people highly infectiously. We don't have that where I live, because we haven't invented agriculture, and without agriculture we don't really have disease, or math, or taxes. Uh, the last two kind of go hand in hand. They all sound horrible. He used the word uh, about washing your hands, uh, that it's a ritual. Now let me explain something. In my time period, just anthropologically and in the human experience, washing your hands isn't necessarily a ritual. Rituals are collective and repetitive symbolic behaviors that have a lot of symbolic and embodied content to them, right? They, they mean something. They have symbolic and religious content. They serve a purpose. Rituals aid in group identity, group cohesion, uh, they can also display status and they can display identity and hierarchy. There's two kinds of rituals, rites of intensification and rites of passage. You've probably heard of the latter. We're not going to worry about that. Washing your hands isn't really a rite of passage. But it is a group identity and group cohesion device. In your time, washing your hands is obviously you're getting the germs and I don't even know what germs are yet, but you're washing that stuff off your hands, therefore you're not gonna get the disease, you're not gonna catch it, 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 you're washing it off into the sink. Now, you can make that a ritual because technically, you want to, one, have group identity, you wanna not be the asshole who is not washing their hands, and two, group cohesion, and while socially means you're, like, you're being cohesive as a social group, uh, also, being alive is group cohesion, so washing your hands ritualistically every day when you go to the bathroom, every day when you leave a room, when you come out of the room, when you enter a building, come out of a building. Wash your hands before you touch your face. Before we do anything, wash your hands. You can make it symbolic, you can sing a song with it, you can do the happy birthday thing, you can do whatever. It's important, wash your hands. You don't want to infect somebody that could die from the disease. It's not that, you know, it's not going to kill me. Clearly, I'm 28 years old. I'm not going to die from, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to infect a poor old man or a poor old woman who could die from it, who has respiratory illnesses that I don't know of. So it's important that I wash my hands for that reason. I could be carrying it even if it's not going to infect me. Remember, ritual is collective and repetitive sacred events that serve some kind of group cohesion. Group cohesion means staying alive. You can't really be cohesive if you're dead. Wash your hands. How'd I do? Yeah, okay, so hang on. What the hell is metal? Come here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, no. Infection. I'm not gonna wash my hands, but I'm like, dog. Strider, come. Come here. Come here. Come here. You sit. Come here. He doesn't want to. Whoa! Oh god, dangerous. Come here. Dangerous. Stay. Stay. Oh god. He does not want that. He does not want that.